don't you hate it when you're in your editor and you set up everything you go to the internet you do your tutorials and yet the respawns in Arma 2 never work well I've found the problem that is probably tricking everyone at least that's what I think the deal is this problem has tricked me for the longest time and it's just very very annoying okay so I have a normal player a rifleman so in the mission itself okay I'm going to take a marker and just name it respawn and since my character is blue for underscore west if he was op for it would be underscore east um, if it was independent underscore gorilla or civilian would be underscore civilian so that is the respawn point now if I were to hop in and blow myself up or something nothing would happen okay so what I'm gonna need to do is I'm going to need to save this as a user mission and I'm gonna name it tutorial okay so now I'm gonna close this and show you the trick this is initially where I would go. I would go to the Bohemian Interactive folder, wherever that may be. And this is where I usually, this is where you put your add-ons and all that good stuff. And I would check under missions, and it wouldn't show up at all. Just ignore that. And I will check in here, and I wouldn't find it. Or if I do find it, I would make the description.ext and put it in here and it wouldn't work and I would make folders and put uh, the .pbo and the .ext in there with it and it won't even recognize it and this is where the problem is it won't read with the .pbo at all it won't work what you need to do is go into the documents library and find the ARMA2 folder not the Bohemian Interactive folder, the Arma 2 folder. You'll get this list. Okay. It could be anywhere in here. Now, normally it would be under missions. However, it's not here. What the heck? You just saw me save it. If you have more than one profile, it it is most likely under your Arma 2 other profiles. You choose your profile that you were just using. You check your missions, and what do you know? It's right there. I use the .udis for this one. So, you open this one up. Oh, what do you know? It's a .sqm, not a .pbo. The .pbo will not work with a .ext. Okay, so I'm going to make a description.ext. Actually, I'm going to paste one in here open it up make sure it looks right nope does not so this is your actual respawn this is what you'll want it to look like I'll quickly change the mission name here for the onload mission you know what? hello world okay so onload mission would mean during a load up screen it would show that um, I haven't really had any luck with that so I don't know entirely how that will work the game type will demonstrate, instead of saying unknown, it will say co-op, or you could say like um, CTI or something like that right in there. Minimum players, one is a safe to say. And max players, for this, I'll just put two. Because, I mean, it's a tutorial. The max players means that even though you may have 40 slots open in the server, if you have 20, the mission will not accept any more players in there. Okay? Respawn. This is your actual respawn. This is what you're going to want to have. Except this disabled AI could be true or false, and that means that the option to disable AI in the game itself will not be present. It will automatically be off if it says true. If you have it on false, then the AI will always be on. And this is just for friendly AI. The hostile AI will always be there. So this is what you're going to want to have. Now I'm going to... Oops. 
when I exit out of this, I'll save it. Make sure it's a .ext, not a .ext, .txt, which would be a text file. Now you have a mission.sqm and a description ext in the same folder as what you're trying to do. So now, if I were to go back into the game, uh, for anything to work in here, you would need to actually reload it, but for the purpose of this, I'm actually just going to save it to my multiplayer missions. Okay. Exit out. Now I'll start up a little land game here. LAN, new, whatever, okay, and then I will choose it right here, tutorial.udis. Alright, now the disable AI button is not here even though there are no AIs on the map. Please notice that. Set it up, spawn in, everything nice and normal. If I were to just throw a grenade randomly at this wall and step on it, it should work. Let's see. There you go. So hopefully this little trick will save all of the death threats at the computer and uh, help everybody be able to get respawns on here. Remember, it can't be with the .pbo. You need to find the folder with the .sqm with the mission. See ya.